Okay, so here's the deal. Your boy Marlon Wayans is not going to be doing any more parody comedy movies, you know, like where he spoofs scary movies or whatever in general. He's not going to be doing those anymore. And I'm going to read to you this AJC.com article <laughs> written by Rodney Ho. And no, I'm not trying to call him a name. That's his name. <laughs> so the article says, and I quote, Marlon Wayans is finished with parody movies. He has made a pretty penny with parodies over the years in the vein of the airplane and naked gun movies. His five scary movie films brought in a whopping collective 461 million, while Dance Flick 25 million, and A Haunted House and a sequel totaling 57 million dollars were also hits. But his latest parody, <laughs> 50 Shades of Black, which comes out January 29th and obviously mocks Fifty Shades of Grey has stumbled out the gate with just $11.4 million in grosses to date. Quote, it's closing a chapter, said Waynes, who is coming to Atlanta for a stand-up show at the Georgia World Congress Center's Sydney Marcus Auditorium, capacity 1,725. Quote, I'm done. I don't think the audience understands or appreciates this type of purity anymore. On the internet, it's purity all the time. A certain type of purity. People can just go on YouTube. For me, I just got to go to other things. Purity is the hardest genre to work. In quote, hold up, hold up. So you running down the street and stealing a white woman's pocketbook and promoting negative stereotypes and whatnot is the hardest thing to do just for the record anyways back to the article and while 50 shades of black could be perceived as a failure wayans is not the type of person to wallow in regret quote i don't believe in failures he said quote i believe in working and doing the best i can with what i have over time end quote wayans in the meantime has been working aggressively to build his stand-up routine quote a lot of people don't know me as a stand-up comedian yet, he said. Quote, I'm looking forward being me as an individual that's come from being on stage. It's great. This is like a whole new career for me. It takes me to a whole new place. I'm determined to do something great. For those that went to his shows at the Atlanta Improv a year ago, he promises the material will be 85% different. Quote, I always change out the playlist or I get bored, he said. The length of the show will depend on how he reads the crowd. He usually does 50 minutes to 90 minutes, but he said a few times he has gone as long as three and a half hours of Bruce Springsteen style. Quote, when I feel that good, I go all out, he said. He's been busy on TV. He hosted a TBS comedy competition show, Funniest Wins, in 2014 and last year's NBC celebrity competition show I can do that he's now working on a comedy pilot for NBC called Marlin which is loosely based on his life the comedy focuses on co-parenting with his ex-wife though it's not clear if he's ever been married in real life the sitcom just picked up Essence Atkins as his ex-wife pause the story right there that's a good choice because she's fine as hell. Anyways, back to the story. She also played his love interest on A Haunted House. You know what? I never saw A Haunted House. So I'm going to watch it now that I know her fine ass is in it. Anyway, back to the story. Quote, you've got to have chemistry and we have chemistry. She said, quote, I just enjoy her company. We laugh a lot. Plus, he noted, quote, not everyone can work with me. I like to improvise. I need someone like Essence. I'm like the glass and she's the water. She will conform to whatever shape I am. She flows with me. He said he will be taping the pilot in three weeks and is getting into fighting shape. Quote, I start working out, getting in the gym. Wayans said, keep my body in shape and my spirit follows. Wayans, who was part of the critically acclaimed 2000 film Requiem for a Dream, said he was impressed by Chris Rock's hosting of the Academy Awards Sunday. Quote, 
I thought he did a good job. He was an <laughs> he was an equal opportunity offender. <laughs> this is what he needed to do. He got some people mad. He hit Jada Pinkett Smith for boycotting the Oscars. Look, you got to get a little bit of everybody. You can't finger point. You point them at everybody. I thought it was funny. He could have pushed further, but this isn't HBO. He also chuckled when I told him comic Cat Williams was arrested in Gainesville after assaulting a pool store employee, quote, if he wasn't arrested, I'd be shocked. I wake up in the morning. I wonder what trouble Cat's in now. His goal is <laughs> his goal is to see every prison in the United States. <laughs> Every last one. I've known Cat for years. I wish him nothing but love. You never know what Cat will get into. Cat has nine lives. He's gone through eight of them, but he isn't going anywhere. End quote. And then the article went on to say that Marlon Wayans will be performing at 7.30 p.m. Saturday, March 12th. The tickets are between $35 to $60.00. He'll be at the Georgia World Congress Center at the Sydney Marcus Auditorium, 285 Andrew Young International Boulevard, Northwest Atlanta. So that's the information on the show he's doing on March 12th to 2016. And it'll be at 7.30 p.m., 35 to $60. Hey, I, I say it's worth it to see Marlon Wayans perform live because I've never seen him do stand-up comedy before. It has to be interesting. All I know is this, man. Ugh. As far as doing the whole parody comedy thing, it, it's a really funny art form. You know, I do some parody comedy on YouTube, which is funny that they mention YouTube. But the thing is, there's a lot of different types of comedy. I mean, you can do parody, but still do it in a way that it's not slapstick bathroom humor or very, I guess, ah, I hate to use this word, but childish because I hate to, I don't want to offend anybody any young person because I'm not saying that literally children have infantile minds what I'm saying is that there's some gutter butt humor out there that certain people do some of the best laughs I've had in my life were from the Wayans family whether it was some of the movies that they've done I'm gonna get you sucker scary movie or in living color the TV show which introduced us to Jennifer Lopez and all that ass thank God for that wonder and, you know, you don't have to be stupid to do comedy. The problem is that Marlon relies too much on racial humor and he crosses the line off into a lot of stupidity sometimes, man. And he's such a smart, bright person for him to do such dumbed down comedy. Sometimes it's it's really, really, I don't even want to say annoying, but it's it's depressing because it's like you have all of this potential. And you're going to sit up there and basically poke fun at your own race. And it makes me wonder whether or not he's like an undercover racist and he just hates his people. Or if that's the only comedy he can do. I really wonder sometime. But, you know, I think people were tired of this buffoonish act, you know, like in Scary Movie where he played this pothead who got shot in his chest. And, and he was trying to smoke weed coming out of the hole from where he got shot. Just stupid stuff like that you know a black man who smokes excessive amounts of weed and people black people being in the hood and all this other stupid shit it's not the 90s anymore marlon we want to see something else you know the reason why haunted house the haunted whatever it was called the reason why it was as successful as it was is because it was something different and you know if he keeps doing this coonish and buffoonish stuff of course people are not going to want to see the same thing over and over again you know, it's it's basically a modern day minstrel show with some of the stuff he's done, to be honest with you. You know, but I did enjoy the Wayans brothers. They weren't in the hood or anything like that. That shit was funny. And one of the things I loved about it is they had so many fucking fine women on the Wayans brothers. Oh, my sweet Lord Jesus. It was like every damn week or well, maybe not every single week, but they used to have some bad, fine ass women. Man, and, and I bet Sean was tapping all of them and Marlon was just standing there watching. 
But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. <laughs> Beat your Meat Magazine. Because that's what Marlon was doing when he was watching Sean fuck all them chicks when they were doing the Wayne Show. <gasps> Meat Magazine.